So as I said, I am so honored to be here with you, um, with your friends and family to celebrate our School of Medicine's class of 2017. Class of 2017, you should be proud of how far you've come. You've achieved what may have felt impossible at some points along the way, but your hard work and your sacrifice have paid off. The next phase of your life will likely be equally, if not more challenging than the last. So I think it will be important to find tranquility amid the chaos. Let me tell you a few stories, uh, in particular some stories about fly fishing, which is one of my favorite pastimes. A uh, few things in my mind are more peaceful than standing in a river alone in beautiful surroundings, trying to solve the riddle of the fly and the fish. But in my opinion, there's more. If you've ever been fly fishing, you know that it may not be easy for those that are looking for an easy catch. Uh, the key in my mind is being centered, focused, prepared, and present. Uh, here's a favorite quote from a movie in the book written by Norman MacLean entitled A River Runs Through It. Uh, it was, in, 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 in many words, uh, or in any sense, an autobiography uh, description. He took some liberties describing growing up in Montana with his, uh, his father and his brother. It's a deeply spiritual read, though I think its meanings are much more beyond religion and Catholicism. Here is the quote, eventually all things merge into one, and a river runs through it. The river was cut by the world's great flood, and runs over rocks from the basement of time. On some of these rocks are timeless raindrops, under the rocks are words, and some of the words are theirs. I'm hunted, I'm hunted by waters. It's a beautiful quote, but what might it mean? Let's start with eventually all things merge into one. This might refer to the belief that some things like duty, honor, privilege, servage, and aspiration are timeless reasons for being. And the river runs through it. The river was cut by the world's great flood and, the, and runs over rocks from the basement of time. Although many beliefs uh, are, and I think they should be, timeless, they are influenced by external forces in nature. As in life, there are truly no unstoppable forces or immovable objects. But if we look closely, we will understand that this and these principles have been true since the beginning of time. Under the rocks are the words, and some of the words are theirs. I'm hunted by the waters. I've read that uh, these phrases represent the should-haves, the could-haves, uh, the would-haves, the uh, must-haves of our lives. Perhaps they're the voice inside us telling us that we can do better, we can be better, we must be, uh, be better. But if we're not careful, we can perseverate to the point of distraction and self-denigration. This river can be like the trials and tribulations of our medical profession and your future roles as physician healers. On the right are internal pressures to provide high-quality, patient-centered care in a world where both medical knowledge and administrative burden, burdens appear to be expanding exponentially. On the left might be the social, political, and economic pressures you will experience. Sometimes uh, this gets translated too simply as, well, you just got to figure out how to do more with less. The sharp turns, deposits, riffles, runs, and deep pools, even the old dry channels of the river, represent the knowns and unknowns about the paths our lives may take. At the bottom of the river, the floor is our foundation, it's how we center ourselves. It reminds us of what is most important, which in my view is providing the best care to every patient, every time, while taking care of ourselves and our loved ones. I want to emphasize the importance of caring for yourselves and your loved ones as you proceed with your careers. In my view, this is the best way to provide the, ver the very best service uh, to your patients. So nurture yourself because now, more than ever, the world needs healers. This river represents the very bright future of healthcare in this country and around the world. And I will say that the river doesn't run through it, it will actually run through you. I will end with another quote from a nature lover and also avid angler, uh, Henry David Thoreau, who would celebrate his 200th birthday this year. His quote is, you must live in the present, launch yourself on every wave and every river, find your eternity in each moment. So congratulations to all of you and what you've achieved so far, and here's to your future.